you know, we get so concerned about adding to the Bible, which is legitimate. Legit. It's wonderful. But what about taking away from the word? Mm -hmm. And, and mm. we need to be equally as Absolutely. jealous that we don't take away from the scripture, what right. God has placed in there, the supernatural, the love, et cetera. So anyway, I came out of that encounter knowing that I saw that the life of Jesus is so precious that everything he did was recorded. Just like a baby album, you know, if you have a child, you put the lock of hair, you put pictures, you, yeah. you keep a little diary, so to speak, of that baby, especially your first one. You get too busy with the second and third. <laughs> but, and, but God has done that with the Lord Jesus, everything detail of his life. And thank God for the scriptures. And it's enough. We have it sufficient. It's all we need. It's right. great. Yeah. But heaven will reveal the greater things that he's re he's reserved for us right his greater works yeah greater <clears throat> right. works generation is coming john 14 12 yes yeah greater works than we do can i ask another one i'll let you thanks okay. <laughs> so i was listening to a bible historian and uh you know he he's been able to merge in a lot of the history of josephus and the uh the scrolls that were found right so that we've we picked up a lot in the last 50 years oh, yeah. that that wasn't available and he said like one of the great secrets for modern day Christians is they don't put enough weight on reading Isaiah, especially the last part of Isaiah. And I, and I seem to remember you, you know, also getting lit up like a Roman candle, you know, when the Lord was showing you things about it. Right. So can you just give a brief little, especially I'm, I'm, I don't know if you would agree, but people have compared Isaiah to the Old and the New Testament yeah. versus uh, chapters 40 through the end of 66 are like the New Testament and 1 right. through 39 are like the old. I don't know, just whatever, you know, comes to you yeah. now would be great. I totally uh, concur and agree with that, that the book of Isaiah, 66 chapters, parallels the Bible, 66 books. And Isaiah is a miniature Bible. It contains virtually every single, uh, maybe not thoroughly, but it mentions every single doctrine in the Word of God in one place or another mm. is found in Isaiah. It is a masterpiece. It is, he's the Paul of the Old Testament. Mm. Isaiah was the nephew of King Uzziah. He was royalty. He went in and out of the palace. He was a well-known figure. He married a prophetess, chapter eight. His sons were for signs and wonders. Right. And they, he named his sons a prophetic message. And uh, Isaiah I think his ministry parallels what we're living in today. Uncertainty, the Assyrian army was encircling. They'd already taken the northern kingdom of Israel, and now they're coming <clears> after <throat> Judah and Jerusalem. And, and uh, Isaiah has to go to King Ahaz and tell him, you know, these are just a couple of smoldering firebrands, these hmm. kings that are coming after you compared to the living God. Hmm. Don't fear them. But, uh, you know, his message was hope in a time of uncertainty. I love the book of Isaiah. Yeah, it's, it is, I feel like I'm on a mission to reintroduce people to the book of Isaiah. Like mm -hmm. where I was with Song of Songs a few years ago, it's like now I'm, I'm captured by uh, this amazing uh, prophet of Isaiah. He has the longest ministry of any prophet in the Bible, over 50 years, spanning, uh, I believe, five kings, at least four. And, uh, you know, just tremendous. He saw the Lord. And Jesus in John 12 says, Isaiah saw me, mm -hmm. Lord Yahweh, high and lifted up. And yet it was Jesus uh, pre-incarnate. It was Christ the Son. It was the Son of God there that he saw the figure of the robe and the, the glory realm. Isaiah bent time, went into the future, stood in front of the cross and prophesied Isaiah 53 with such detail mm -hmm. of what happened yeah. on that one, you know, on the, the, the six hours of Jesus on that cross. So powerful. 700 years before crucifixion yeah. was even yeah. invented by the Romans. Mm -hmm. Isaiah prophesied, they, they pierced my hands and feet. Mm -hmm. and, and this is why our wonderful Jewish friends won't even really read that chapter. Mm -hmm. It's taken out of their, their daily readings mm -hmm. and their annual readings of the Tanakh because it's too descriptive of Jesus. Mm. As Isaiah is uh, saw, Psalm 22, yeah. right? I, I haven't read your uh, version of that yet, but it's such an accurate description of the crucifixion from King yeah. David, who's not really thought of initially as a prophet. It's more about being a giant killer and a psalmist and a king and a, 
and a warrior, but he was clearly uh, an incredible prophet for what happened with Psalm 22 alone. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I love the fact you brought it up that Isaiah, the vision, he saw a panoramic vision from creation to the new heavens and the new earth. He saw this compelling vision and he, he wrote uh, so many prophecies, compilation of prophecies that still speak to us today. The thundering voice mm -hmm. of that man, Isaiah, it needs to be heard in the church today. Holy is the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. He used that term 27 times, hmm. more than any other word for God. He used the Holy One of Israel. And it's because he saw that yeah. Holy One on his throne. Yeah. I also love, uh, I, I recently purchased uh, the book of Genesis. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Everybody, <laughs> y'all need to read it. In the I just Passion happen to have a copy yeah, here. It's really good. Really good. That's a good lead yeah. into how is Joseph in the book of Genesis similar to Jesus? That's oh, a long have, conversation, uh, right? Yeah, 50 different uh, comparisons. You know, wow. he was betrayed by his brothers. He was promoted. He was given a Gentile bride. He uh, was called the revealer of mysteries, uh, the spirit of the Lord upon him. He saved the world. His wisdom brought salvation to his people and to the world. You know, betrayed for pieces of silver. There are so many, yeah. uh, so many aspects. You know, that rainbow robe of favor of the Father that was upon Jesus and Joseph. Mm. It caused everybody. Jealousy is such a pernicious evil. Right. And when, when David gets anointed, Saul gets jealous. Mm. When, you know, Joseph gets anointed, his brothers get jealous. When Jesus comes with the overflow of the fullness of anointing, the religious system killed him. And Herod so, killed all the babies because he felt there was another king coming, you know, threatening his, yeah. his power structure. Yeah, and I think that tells us that God does threaten our systems of faith, belief, yeah. our man-made wisdom, our, our self-exalting knowledge. All of that gets overthrown like the tables in the courtyard of the temple. When Jesus comes and, and sets up his rule in us, get ready for that massive overthrow. And then the weeping when Joseph finally forgives his brothers. You know, that's such oh. an incredible point like the cross, right? Where he says, Father, forgive <laughs> oh, them. Yeah. They know not what they do. And what the enemy meant for evil, God brought life through you thinking you were sending me into slavery so I'm not going to kill you. I do forgive you. I embrace you as my family, even though I could have you killed. Wow. What a picture yeah, I, of Christ. Yeah, powerful. I see in the Joseph story a beautiful prefiguring of Jesus. Joseph takes off his Egyptian headdress and begins to speak to them in Hebrew, their own language. And he says, I am Joseph. And they all cringe back. And then the words he said, come close to me. Mm. And he kissed every one of those rotten, stinking brothers that threw him <laughs> in the pit. He loved them and kissed them and said, God meant it for good. You may have tried to harm me. God overruled it all. And he brought me ahead of you to save you. Wow. So powerful. It's so powerful. Well, uh, you promised us an hour and we've used up our hour. So I only have about a thousand more things I can talk <laughs> about, but I'm not going to because well, you've been very kind to us tonight. I want to ask you, are you, are you translating the book of Daniel? Uh, it's coming. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's good. the timetable. I'm going to finish. Um, I'm going to finish Jeremiah this week, God willing. By this weekend, I will have finished Jeremiah and in I'll Jesus start. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Lamentations. I'm, in, I'm in, finishing up chapter 51 of Jeremiah. There's 52 chapters. So, And then Lamentations is four chapters. And then guess what? Ezekiel and Daniel. Awesome. I'm going to do that. And hopefully this time, around this time next year, I will have finished, God willing, with his grace, Ezekiel for sure, and hopefully Ezekiel and Daniel. Awesome. So it's coming. Awesome. And you're still traveling once the uh, COVID uh, lockdown yeah, we, we have so enjoyed this uh, fast forward with the work that we're involved with, with the translation, even though it's meant canceling 10 meetings. But uh, yeah, we're starting up in July, mid-July, we go to Nashville, and, and then we're going out to Portland, and uh, gosh, I, New, New Orleans, Jersey. our first time in you're New coming, Orleans. You're coming there. to New Jersey? <laughs> We'd speaking. love to be with you guys. <laughs> Get some good Italian. You just don't have good Italian. Out That's here. right. I mean, 
Oh, know. gosh. Help well, me, Lord. <laughs> we, we, we just pray for you, Brian, as, as we say goodbye, that you know, you'll just continue to reflect. I love the way you honor Candace when you, when you do your meetings. She's always the first one up there. You know, I like to tell people you should be the president of your wife's fan club. And I see that in, in the way that you, you relate with her and you honor her so, so beautifully like Jesus does with us. And, you know, it's just been uh, like little old me, right? Like God is using little old me to touch the world. And who knows for how long after we're even gone, people will wow. be seeing the, the incredible insights that you were able to plumb from the depths of, of the Lord's heart. And just personally, I want to thank you for my own study of Scripture. As you know, I try not to send too many emails, but <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. And sorry that you've had to take some persecution, but that's probably not the most surprising thing. Lord it makes me a better yeah. man and a better translator. Amen. We love you and uh, can't thank wait you. to see you in person, but glad yeah. you could be here with us tonight. God bless love you. Love you too. All right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Tell Candy we said hi. I sure will. Love you. Bye-bye.